if you, if you had a vertical button, it would shift up and down. So you always want to anchor it with a horizontal button so that it perfectly anchors the, the button. Um, so, oh, when you bring this in, you bring in the pattern, too. No, I'm going to, okay, hold on. All right, so here's my collar stand. Is this overwhelming to everyone? Yes. No. Mm -hmm. Really? I got it. Okay. I'll go ahead. I'll go over it again. Collar stand. I can button. put the video on YouTube later too if you want. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. The collar stand. Here's my center front, right? Everyone's got that center front line. That's where the position of the button goes, just like on the shirt body. All, all the buttons and the button holes are derived from the center front. Here's the center front on my stand. My stand is an inch and a half wide. I want to find the center of it. So that's my center front. Half of an inch and a half is three quarters of an inch. All right. Draw a horizontal line, three quarters of an inch. Right. What did I do down here when I created my horizontal button? I measured an eighth of an inch beyond the center front. So on here, I'm going to measure an eighth of an inch beyond the center front. And then from that point, I'm going to measure back the total width of my buttonhole, which is five eighths of an inch. There's my buttonhole mark. All right. And where does my button get placed? The middle of the center front, exactly. So this right here is the button marking. Right. Um, are you saying that we have to get our shirts buttoned like that? Like, what if I wanted it to start like here? That's what I. Mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's less button. Oh my god. <laughs> Continuing, um, your 